My name is Tyler. I'm going to show you how to diagnose trouble in your EVAP system on my dad's Dakota 2002. The reason why we're here because the check engine light is on. In order to find out what's wrong, all you have to do is turn the key three times. One, two, three. P0455 is the error code. Now normally I would go on Google and find out what the code means, but I know this one. P0455 is a large leak in the EVAP system. Now there's many different components with your EVAP system, so I'm going to start with the easiest. It could be that the gas cap wasn't on all the way. So if that was all tight. There's no cracks in my gas cap. It could be that your gas cap is old. I know this one's just a couple years old. So I don't think there's gonna be a big problem. Also, we should go ahead and pop the hood. should be a lever right here. There you go. Right behind the battery, there is the EVAP pump. Now, I'm going to look at the tubes that lead into it, especially at the ends, to make sure they are not cracked. I don't think so. I think I call this the EVAP pump. It's actually the EVAP solenoid valve. I'll show you where the pump is later. I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. Usually people would stuff smoke up in there and they'll find where the leak is. But I'm not going to do that because I know smoking is bad for you. Now, these two hoses go over the transmission to the EVAP canister. Let me show you where the canister is. Now we are directly under the Dakota and this is where I like to spend most of my time because it's really quiet and peaceful and I can get away from the family. The two, to the two tubes that I was talking about they are right here they lead into this the canister. Now let me check around these things to make sure there's no cracks. Nope. 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 Oh I found it found it. It's right. See? Look at that crack. Look at that. Now this is the tube that leads to the EVAP pump and on this model it is right behind the battery and I look very carefully and I can see some cracks here. So I'm going to put that on my to-do list and I'll fix it soon. I just went down to Napa Auto Parts and I got a tube to replace this one. Now it isn't exactly the same thing but it will work and the most important thing is that it's fuel rated so that would be good. I also got these hose clamps. You're not required to have them but I'm going to do it for the safety for it, so I won't have to be back here next Saturday making another video. We have fixed the EVAP system, we put our hoses on with all the clamps, now we have to reset the check engine light. To do that, we disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Now with the negative terminal of our battery disconnected, all we have to do is turn the key and wait for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I reconnected the battery. Now, let's start her up and make sure the check engine light is off. And it is. Now you may want to drive around your truck for a few days to make sure that was the only leak. But don't be, don't, don't be afraid to work on cars because they were designed by people like you and me. My name is Tyler and I got a roll.